The Ituri rainforest in the Democratic Republic of Congo is home to the Bambuti people, or pygmies, as they are commonly known. The pygmies have shared their profound wisdom of the jungle ecology with environmentalists like Corne Iwango for generations. The Bambuti also help the Congolese National Parks with the care and feeding of the rare Okapi giraffe. Corne, a botanist, has nurtured the working relationship between the pygmies, the Okapi, and the conservationists. My interaction with the pygmies is unforgettable. They know everything about the animals in the forest, and they've helped us to understand the Okapi's diet and the cures for their illnesses. I tell my students that the pygmies are the big book of nature's knowledge. The forest is our life. The very air we breathe comes from the forest. That's why we work to protect it. Because without the forest, there would be no Okapi. There would be no world. Corne joined us in 1991. Not only did he have an amazing affinity for working in the forest, but he had an, an almost uncanny capacity to see plants and recognize plants. And we saw a tremendous love of it. The Okapi Reserve is very rich in flora and fauna. It has the highest density of Okapi anywhere in the world, and so they're very strictly protected by Congolese law. However, they are still hunted by poachers. So we have made an effort to protect the Okapi in their natural habitat. Today, Ipulu, the center for the Okapi Reserve, is a training ground for park rangers whose main role is to protect against poachers. Their plunder is elephant tusk ivory. In 1996, Corne Iwango had emerged as the key figure in establishing the Okapi Faunal Reserve, which protects over three million acres of precious rainforest. Working with the Bambuti and his students, Cornet classified more than 600 species of plants. And that came to a sudden and crashing end in the end of 1996 with the collapse of the regime of Mobutu Sisi Seko. Fleeing soldiers swept into a pulu, and Cornet was the last of the senior staff to remain. The civil war in Congo shifted from just regime change to a massive grab for the riches of this country. The gold, the wood, and the ivory. Everything right down to the bush meat. It was complete chaos. Cornet stayed to protect the Okapi and his botanical research, but sent his family away to safety. Cornet mobilized all of Epulu to move all of his precious botanical specimens and the library out into the forest. Nothing was lost there. And he was also able to keep not only our own staff, but a number of key people in, in Epulu and even some of the Bambuti safe and healthy. We fled. We scattered into the forest. We died. Kids, old people, women. They took our wives and raped them. Our wives. Right in front of our own eyes, they said, what are you going to do about it? If you open your mouth, we'll cut your throat. They are evil. The people of the Ituri rainforest suffered some of the Civil War's worst atrocities. When the occupation ended in 2002, Corne Iwango was reunited with his family, but soon left for America to finish his graduate studies. Separation is not an easy thing. But nature is my passion, so I'm able to deprive myself of my country and my family that I love so much. But I know that even if what we are doing is not understood today, tomorrow we will be shown to be right. For Outstanding Environmental Achievement in Africa, the 2005 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Corne Iwango, Ipulu, Democratic Republic of Congo.